Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to grow on LinkedIn. This is something a lot of people ask me. So today I'm going to answer those questions and tell you how you can grow your personal brand on LinkedIn. But before we start with that, if you don't know me, I'm Jyotishri. I'm a freelance content writer and a social media manager. And in this channel, I talk about freelancing, content writing and social media. So if you want to know more about these and learn more about these, then definitely hit the subscribe button. Now, without any further delay, let's get started with the video. At this point, when I'm creating this video, I have around uh, 17,400 followers on LinkedIn. And a lot of people ask me, how did I manage to have so many followers? And basically, how did I do it? I'm going to tell you things that I have learned from my experience. I have made a lot of mistakes and I know that you should not be making them. So that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So to give you an idea, when I started creating content on LinkedIn, I did not have any goal in mind. I just knew that it is a professional platform where freelancers can create profiles and get prospects or get more uh, uh, of a community. So I started that, but I basically did not have any goal in mind. The content that I was creating was also not specified to any niche. I was basically sharing my joy of having found something like freelancing, being able to leave my nine to five job and do freelancing full time. These were the things that I was speaking about. And I saw at that time these posts were doing really, really good on LinkedIn. And I was having a lot of reach. A lot of people were engaging with these posts and they started following me. And I didn't even know when I reached so many followers. So it was not something that I did consciously and having a lot of followers was, was definitely not one of my goals. And here's the thing about LinkedIn or I would say most social media platforms. Many people think that having a large follower count or having lots of likes and comments in the posts is a very good thing. Yes, it might be good for, uh, you know, the algorithm or it might enhance your growth even more but it's not always the best thing why because many people don't know why they are using that social media platform let's say you are using linkedin to generate leads for your business a lot of followers with no leads will definitely not be good for you and it's not something that you'll like so that brings me to the very first tip is know your why if you are willing to grow on linkedin first you need to understand why why do you want to grow on linkedin do you want to build a community do you want to bring leads to your business do you want to have clients do you want to get a good job in your dream company you need to ask these questions to yourself and answer them so you can find your why why do you want to go on linkedin why do you want to grow on it because if you don't know your why your actions will not be optimized and you might be creating content on various different things you might be connecting with each and everyone and that will not bring the results that you are looking for so the very first thing you need to do is find your why the second thing about linkedin is it is great if you want organic reach i have used a lot of social media platforms and i think linkedin has the best organic reach of all of them so if you can utilize that you can if you can you know use that to your benefit that will really help you grow so how do you do that you create quality content so for example i'm a freelance writer and my goal with linkedin let's say is to get clients get more clients or generate more leads for my freelancing business so what can i do when i'm creating content i will focus on educating my ideal clients on uh, why they should maybe work with me why they should hire a freelance writer if i create content like these and if these reach my ideal prospects they might you know uh, contact me and ask for my services and that's how you generate leads on linkedin 
if you want to just build a community let's say i'm a freelancer and i just want to build a community of freelancers so i'll create posts around freelancing that will be relevant to other freelancers so they can connect with that post or whatever my thought process is they can engage with it and tell me what their thoughts are on that and that way we can build connections after you understand your why you need to create a content strategy that aligns with that why and create content around that and this brings me to the third thing which is be consistent consistency is a very big issue that everyone faces when creating content on any social media platform that can be linkedin that can be instagram that can be youtube and i think when you know your why when you have decided on your goals it is less likely that you are going to be inconsistent so if you do the first two steps that is understand your why and create a content strategy you will automatically have a plan of consistency by consistency i don't mean that you need to post every day on linkedin to grow let's say i make a plan of creating uh, three posts or four posts every week on linkedin so i need to stick to that when i decide on my content strategy i need to create some content beforehand so that i can be consistent on linkedin so that i don't run out of ideas and i don't know what to post when i am already done with the first two steps then the third will not be a problem i need to tell you another thing that when you are creating content when you are uh, being consistent on linkedin do not expect that you will get a lot of engagement uh, a lot of people will like your posts a lot of people will comment on your posts if you if you go by that expectation then you will become inconsistent because that's not going to happen initially and that will obviously be a heartbreak and you'll stop being consistent so do not go with that expectation keep this in mind that initially nobody is going to engage with your posts nobody might even see them but if you are consistent slowly you will have people coming on your posts and engaging with them so you need to have patience along with being consistent now the fourth point is engage with relevant people by relevant people again i mean do not connect with each and every one uh um, that you find on linkedin by relevant people uh i mean that let's say i'm a freelance content writer i will connect with other freelance content writers so that uh if i create any post around content writing or freelancing they can relate to that similarly i'll also try to connect to my ideal prospects so that uh, i can educate them with my posts and make them aware of my existence so that if they are ever looking for a content writer they can reach out to me you need to ask yourself who are the ideal people that you should connect with which will benefit your um goals on linkedin and connect with those people engage with their posts again another thing i would like to point here that many people uh by engagement they think that you need to you know comment on every post like on every post and the comments are as generic as lovely post uh, great post but that that does not uh, work when i started on linkedin i knew i was engaging with a lot of people and i never left any generic comments i always tried to you know put one or two lines about what i think about that post or uh, if there's anything that i would like to add and i always try to put some value in my comments so even i would say a lot of follower growth that i had also happened from those comments so whenever you are engaging with people keep these things in mind do not engage mindlessly just for the sake of it engage because you want to because you like something and because you have something to say over there and here are two things that you should not do on linkedin uh, many people on linkedin create engagement pods if you don't know what engagement pods are these are basically groups groups uh, inside linkedin or outside linkedin maybe on uh, whatsapp so people create engagement pods where they add a lot of people from their uh, linkedin connection list these people put links of their posts on uh, these groups 
and everyone in that group comes on their post likes and comments in most of the engagement posts that i've observed people just uh, like the posts and again put generic comments like great post lovely post and they do not provide value they do not even read the posts because there are so many people in the groups they post so many links and most people are just trying to you know engage with all the posts so that others will engage with their posts and it it's not a good thing let's say you do that and yeah that will obviously increase the engagement the reach everything on your posts but you will not reach uh, your ideal people and let's say you stop you know uh, you leave that engagement pod then the engagement and reach on your linkedin posts will go down so i think it's a vicious cycle please do not join engagement pods if you ever come across anything like that on linkedin and the second thing you should not do on linkedin is do not send generic connection requests do not send connection requests to everyone when you do send a connection request send it with a personalized message tell the person why you are uh, sending a connection request why do you want to connect with that person let's say you came across a very good post of someone you really liked it you commented on it then you can uh, and you want to connect with that person you can send him or her a message saying that i read your last post and i really liked it i really resonated with what you said and if there's anything else you want to say add that to the request and then send it why should you do this because that helps you gain quality connections you do not want to connect with everyone anyone and everyone on linkedin you do want to connect with people who you like who you appreciate who can appreciate you back or who can become your clients whatever the goal is try to connect with a personalized message because that increases the chances of your connection requests uh, getting accepted so that's it for this video if you want to grow on linkedin follow the things that i have mentioned if you like this video let me know in the comments and if you have any requests also let me know thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please do it right now and i'll see you in the next one